What's going on, people? Jada Black here. I'm back with another video. Let me get to the point. Make sure that you subscribe to my new live streaming channel. That link will be in the description box. Uh, I won't be able to go live on my Jada Black live streaming channel for some time. And also, make sure you subscribe to Twitch. Um, if you're a faithful live streamer on my live streams, make sure if you don't have a Twitch account, go ahead and get one. Um, and meet me over there i'm gonna try to do a stream uh tonight on there um so make sure that y'all get your accounts but i'm probably put up a, a promo video but if you you can't really participate in the chat unless you have an account and you can i think you can as long as you have like a, a facebook or twitter or whatever i think it allows you to go ahead and sign in okay but i'm just letting y'all know that because i can't stream my live stream channel for a reason because uh, you know um it is what it is with, with what's going on this platform you got the butt hurt that kicks in with certain people well you know anyway but pretty soon hopefully i get one of those channels back that i've lost so make sure that you continue to support the platform on patreon uh continue to support during the streams uh i still will be pumping out the content nothing is stopping anytime soon so make sure y'all continue to support all right Subscribe to Jada Black Reup. That link will be in the description box. And also go and subscribe to the Twitch channel. All right. You know, this video is going to be about the bro code. I, I made a couple of videos about this. And Matt Barnes. You know, Matt Barnes is, is, is in a unique situation because he definitely was in a situation where his ex and his friend shows you what a violation of the bro code is. You have a situation where... Um, you know, Matt Barnes is cool with Derek Fisher. They are friends. Derek Fisher wants to now say they were never friends, which makes him look even worse. Make him look even worse, you know. But they were teammates. I believe they were friends. Not not the closest of friends, but they were cordial. And you still go behind this man's back. You didn't have enough balls to tell him to his face that you were dating his ex. You go behind his back when he's in another state, um, playing basketball. You're retired. No, no, you got fired as the Knicks head coach. So you decide to start messing with his ex-wife behind his back as if he was never going to find out. His Matt Barnes' children had to tell him that Derek Fisher was at the house, you know, pretty much dating his ex. And Matt Barnes is speaking on the bro code, okay? Now, these are some comments that he made when he was on the Wendy Williams show. He said, basically... What it was, you know, I divorced her, figured she's going to move on. That's what that's what happens when you divorce someone and the ultimate goal is to be happy. I found out they hooked up through my kids and I was mad. Yeah, because Derek Fisher didn't have the grapefruits, did not have the, the, the just the respect to go to Matt Barnes and say, look, I'm dating your wife. Because eventually, Matt Barnes is going to find out. But you took the cowards away. You took the cowards away. Maybe because they were talking to each other before, you know, Matt Barnes fully divorced her. They probably were talking to each other before they even broke up. We're former teammates, though, you know. I kind of think there's an unspoken, you know, you guys go to war with each other means if it's a girlfriend or something like that that's fair game but you know but you know of but you know to think of it a wife and kids will be off limits to a teammate but it is what it is from that standpoint so he went on to state to his wife's friends being there was the only thing that saved fisher that fateful day so apparently the day that matt barnes drove to go see his ex their friends were all there at the same time so it was a bunch of people at the house you know which made the situation even more awkward and embarrassing he's lucky it wasn't just them but she actually had a group of friends over they were having a game night or a dinner or something the kids were upstairs asleep by the time i got there and it just happened. It was like I said, I think it's kind of like an unspoken man rule, teammate rule, 
that you don't mess with someone's wife by instinct. My whole focus really was that you're staying in my house and being around my kids and you didn't tell me that. That was my major problem and he understood once we discussed it and spoke about it. I mean, he should. I mean, you're around this man's family, you're in his house, and you still didn't go to this man and say, listen, dude, I I'm dating your ex. Because Matt, because the thing about it, you know, Derek Fisher, you know, he's not a man. He's, he, it, mentally, I think he's still, a, you know, a teenager. I think he's he's afraid. Maybe somebody's put hands on him before, to the you know, for messing with you know his, their girlfriends or wives or whatever, to the point to where he's afraid to be honest that and say, yeah, I'm messing around with your ex. But he didn't do that. You know, Matt Barnes's children had to tell him that. And now, Gloria Govan, which is Matt Barnes' ex, is engaged to be married to Derek Fisher. And even though, you know, Matt Barnes is trying to get on good terms with Gloria Govan, Gloria Govan has already said that he's not welcome to the, to the wedding that they're having. And my thing is to Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher got off easy with his divorce. I believe, I don't think he even he's even paying child support. You know, or even spousal support. He got off easy with his first marriage. That if you get into this marriage and you divorce this woman, you're not going to get off easy again. So maybe that's why he's so quick. Maybe he thinks the only way he can keep Gloria and justify the entire situation is by marrying her. That's not going to work out for you. And it was very sneaky and underhanded how you got with this woman. And this is what goes on, man. I mean, that the the, the the bro code is is broken and it's broken because you have a lot of weak-minded men out here okay who don't understand respect they don't understand loyalty they don't understand that you cannot be screwing dudes you call teammates wives or girlfriends even if even if they do br break up you're gonna go behind me and date his sloppy seconds. I mean, come on, man. You're gonna be staying in his house. You're gonna be around his kids, and you expect them to be cool with that, especially when you never told him to begin with. And Gloria, because she's messy, she's okay with it. Because as long as she got somebody, she don't care. She don't care that they were teammates. That's 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 how low her, mora her morality scale is. She doesn't care that they were ex-teammates, ex-friends. She, she wanted this, to be with this guy, and she got with him. To spite Matt Barnes. Now, if Matt Barnes started dating one of her friends, you think she'd be okay with that? Do you think she'd be okay with Matt Barnes dating one of her friends and having th those women around her children? That woman being in her house, sleeping in her bed? You think she'd be cool with that? No. But she's okay with this. Then she's talking about how he's not welcome to the wedding. I don't think he wants to go. I would never go either. What point would I want to go to a sneaky idiot like Derek Fisher? Why would I want to go to any type of celebration that includes him? That's not something that I would want to do. That's not something that I would be looking forward to doing. Okay? And I think that in this situation... I, it looks to me like Derek Fisher doesn't care about a bro code. He will sleep with anybody's girlfriends or wives if he has the opportunity. Because this stuff goes on a lot in sports. You got these guys who will sleep with their teammates, girlfriends, and wives all the time. So most of the time, they don't get caught. Sometimes they may do get caught, you know? But it's very rare. Maybe because you're more focused on other things besides one of your teammates trying to get with your, with your ex. Or even with your current. And Matt Barnes, and not Matt Barnes, um, Derek Fisher doesn't seem to have seem to think anything is wrong with it. Gloria is living in her own bubble. She's talking about how this guy isn't invited to the wedding, as if he wants to go to a wedding of two sneaky individuals. One that he's accusing of stealing his money. The other one he's accusing of breaking the bro code. And I, I just think those two deserve each other. I think that they you know, they they deserve each other. I think that. Both of them seem untrustworthy. Both of them seem like they're the sneaky types. 
and i think that it's probably a good thing that he doesn't deal with either one of them because none of them really going to bring him any any good to his situation because you you have this female who who's getting i believe ten thousand dollars a month in, in in child support plus i believe she got the house and now she's trying to sue him for defamation because he's revealing facts about their relationship that people may not see because people probably see her as a sympathetic figure because they see her as a divorcee, a mom, you know, she is attractive, but people have to see past that and understand just because Matt Barnes is a basketball player that has known, been known to be an irritant on the court, um, it doesn't mean that he is lying about his situation. It doesn't mean that at all. So when it comes to this bro code, I, I just believe times have changed. And because you have a lack of father figures in the household, I think that also, you know, that that added with the fact that you have women who are in and out of bad relationships, you know, and you have young girls who watch their mothers be in and out of bad relationships. They don't know what it's like to be in a stable relationship. They don't know what it's like to have loyalty to one man. They don't know what it's like to be, you know, monogamous. Because, you know, women like to say that men don't know how to be monogamous. I think there are a lot of women that don't know how to be monogamous. They use every excuse in the book to cheat. You have women who will say they cheated because the guy they with cheated. You know, they cheat too. They mess around with different men too. Especially when they're out of a new relationship. I mean, they're here and there and everywhere, you know. <laughs> so, that's all I have to say. Make sure that y'all like this video, share it, comment, let me know what you think.